Hey guys, uh, video number two for me, and uh, again, I'm all new to this stuff, so I'll do my best. But uh, these are uh, finished Dacian uh, Cav, not Sarmatian, just Dacian, and uh, it's a small group. That's why we use um, the Sarmatians for basically your main force of cavalry. But um, these are all foundry miniatures. And, um, of course, I did a little bit more work on the uh, commander stand. Hope you can see that. Um, see if I can turn this around. Put some stripes on his legs. The other commander, or the commander has a, uh, a plaid pattern. So, I think it turned out pretty good. Not too much effort. I mean, it's not uh, display quality. It's going to be used in, uh, in games. So. All right. And then we have the Stand of Light Cavalry. Again, these are basically impetus-style bases, but I use two of the strongest. I mean, you can use it for anything. You can use it for Mortem and Glorium, two of the strongest. I mean, both sides are the same, right? So, uh, with these and also the commanders, the um, the horses are actually painted in oils. And I don't know if you can see the smooth transition between the top of the horse there and the bottom, um, which I like, especially with with horses. It's pretty easy to to blend the paint, and um, but. Um, the actual riders are painted with acrylic paints, just faster. I, I'm still working on my oils. I've not perfected it, and it's, it's a work in progress. But uh, I like it because of the easy blending. But um, I'm still new to it. So anyway, and then the last base is uh, you know medium heavy cavalry. These are all foundry again, but and they got unfortunately static poses. But it, it is what it is. They're still really good miniatures, uh, even though they're dated. I believe, um, if I'm not mistaken, the Perry's paint, uh, sculpted these, of course. And you can see again some of the blending there with the oil paints. It's really smooth. Yep, I like it. Again, these are a little above standard and again going to be used to be paint played with so I didn't want to put too much time into them like I didn't paint the eyes, etc. And uh, of course, next up is Vitrix Dacian Infantry. They're already primed. I am going to do a Zenithal on them. I just haven't gotten to it. And uh, Anytime there's a situation where the uh, the arms cover the chest area, I leave the arms off until uh, and and um, paint them separately and then glue them later. Later, just easier to paint that way. Forgot the name of it. With the how they do this, like with the uh, fantasy figures and games workshop figures, but. Uh, Yep, yeah, that's it. That's it for now. I got uh, two units of uh, infantry to paint. And when those are done, I'll pop up another video. Thanks for watching.